Hello everyone, my name is Trumat and today we're going to an advanced Talia guide regarding her ultimate. Now, wherever, if you are, it doesn't matter what you play Talia, or like if you play Talia jungle, if you play Talia support, bot, mid, top, doesn't matter. This guide will be useful to any Talia main that wants to learn how to use their ultimates better. Now, before we... <coughs> before we jump into the game let's let's say a bit let's speak a bit about how this video will go i'm gonna present you this particular game the yellows of the player the stats and i'm gonna ask you how would you cast alt in this scenario to win the game i'm gonna present you the outcome that i did and then we're going to talk about a little more alts that you could probably do in these kinds of team fights to actually help your team to win the game i personally believe this is one of my best alts in the past 100 or 500 games and i'm gonna show you why i'm gonna present the context and i will let you decide if my ult is the same as yours as, as you would do it or you would probably cast a better ultimate than my idea and we're gonna decide together in the comments and we're gonna i'm gonna present you my findings here now before we start again this is a, a game let's present the the stats of the game as you can see this is a game in grand and master grandmaster challenger we have all of these players basically their vice challenger our caitlin is challenger and the rest are grandmaster and master uh we were winning most of the time i'm playing to top with ignite as you can see here i beat darius on lane i did pretty fine but i again i was killing darius and vi would come to gank i would die to vi so vi got a little ahead but darius is behind i'm also having landry's as i told you i'm also having the health reduction so uh, the game went pretty much in our favor until Leone decided the classic i don't want to win i don't care he was like he was very fed like 8 1 8 2 8 3 i don't remember but now he hinted a lot you can see he's 10 7 and kyle also farmed a lot so basically you got to the point where kyle is level 17 kyle is extremely strong you can see she's level 17 she's ahead of us of everyone vice level 16 and i'm only the only one ahead in levels in my team also yone is a bit ahead in levels but you can see we shouldn't be winning this fight unless someone does an outplay and that outplay will be generated from two things from my alt and the kyle alt that came as a hail mary to save darius because he failed something now we might go into that further but this should be theoretically a lost a lost fight for us because we are behind in gold we haven't managed to get soul as you can see they got the drake uh this one that the fourth one and as yone entered the last fight if you look here kyle actually destroyed us you can see this quadra kill uh this uh, double kill sorry and yeah he actually she, we can't really win this fight uh, top to bottom without creating some shenanigans or some picks and so i want to ask you here what ultimate would you cast knowingly knowing very well that well well well, well let me just show you what we know actually knowing this <laughs> how would you cast your ult knowing this well be before we actually go into this we know th that okay they are on baron they are certainly on baron we have this vision world we've seen them walk around before but we don't really know what's happening here we also don't have a blue trinket which is quite a mistake honestly and so we can't really let them take it for free because they will just beat it beat us and kill us they will take the baron but they won't win the fight how would you go around that well if you think about how we could zone i actually position myself here to try to cast an ult now how would you cast an ult here to try to gain advantage i'm gonna let you think okay let's just say for the sake of simplicity you're going to see here leona okay this is all you get and maybe somewhere here darius trying to stop us from coming baron is at around 75 percent hp but we don't know that they will get baron regardless their uh, kyle and Jin will keep hitting it and they will get it now I'm, I'm gonna let just try to answer it for yourself pause the video right now and try to ask how would you alt here with knowing only that leona is around here well knowing that information i decided well did you pause it did you do it okay can i speak okay uh, knowing that leona is around here i decided that i'm gonna cast a team splitting alt something like here trying to split their baron and their carries like the kyle the Jin from their front line i know vi is on baron because someone has to smite it so vi is around here 
And I also think Kyle and Jin are around here because they all certainly won't stop it. Because they have Leona and Darius who can actually stop us. They are heavy tanks. You, you see Lockhead. You see these items. Leona is pretty beefy right now. She has also uh, Bramble Vest. She's extremely hard to kill. Darius is also having Sterax and Mercuries and some Null Cloth Magic. He's not ahead, but he's also hard to kill, especially with his Q. An ultimate that I did is this. How do I close that? Okay, also, you see, you see this word. You see Darius here. So this is all the information you have. An ultimate that I did, look. This is this is all the information you have. You know that they're on Baron, okay? Okay, we see Leona here. How, how would you cast your ult here? Well, the best answer is to split the team. The best answer is try to split the Kyle and the Jin and the Vi from their main frontline tanks. And not to kill the Kyle and Jin, but to kill the frontline tanks before they have time to react. Now, your wall, if you cast, if you press here, you can see here at level 15, your wall lasts 5 seconds just as any other level. So you have five seconds in which they will stay here and uh, we know that they don't have flash from this but I don't think in game I could track it but we know that from this they will be stuck around on this side of the wall only Vi can pass it because only Vi has a dash. So how would you go and kill Leona and Darius? Well you would try to cast an ult somewhere around this axis. You see my mouse? You see my mouse how it's going? You try to cast it and trap the Darius and Leona. If not, if you don't catch the Darius, it's fine. You catch only the Leona, you kill fast the Leona. So let's see how this goes. I cast the ult. Darius goes towards this, gets straight into the Morgana Q because he wants to be on this side of the wall, apparently. He, he chose it. I know he chose it because he went towards this side. And we wouldn't win 5 versus 5. But he decided, okay, they can give enough time for their three carries to actually take Baron. Well, I casted the ult, and as you can see, I pushed Darius here. I didn't jump on this side, on this suicide, and I had no flash. I would have instantly died towards the Kyle, towards the Jin. They, I would be the only target they could hit here. And I'm gonna cast it like this. I'm gonna make the follow four, so you can see what I'm saying. So they are doing Baron. Let's just slow it up. They are doing Baron. They got Baron, right? And as you can see here, the fight, only Vi can actually join and Kyle and Jin can't do anything. This is one of the best ults you can do in this context. And you see two things. Now the ult has ended. You can see Kyle ulted the Darius in hopes that he would actually cast ult and stack it up on someone. You see that we dealt with Leona here. And also see that Jin, that Yone didn't use his ult. He decided that he doesn't want to troll this fight. And so you're going to see a good, a good, uh, no, no, ult into a good combo Kyle has no ult and you also get the Vi here our ADC doesn't die their uh, Jin also dies this was a free win for us from this perspective and mainly from two things my ult and Yone's ult and also maybe Nunu's ult Caitlyn and Morgana played safe they were against the front line we, we helped them here because we engaged straight onto the Darius Vi came uh, late and after they got Baron Vi only came in and this should have been a free win for them as you can see we barely reached gold to defeat them and you know in this context Kyle is a monster because Kyle ulted Darius she panicked and honestly if she casted ult on herself she would have at least killed one or two people here if you can take a look here on the Yone's ult again look the Yone ult here okay Darius gets in the way she, he dies Jin is here, but Jin is still not that strong. And because Kyle ulted Darius here, and because Kyle did before, she has no time to actually cast ult on herself. And if she casted on herself, she had 3 seconds in which she would have been invincible, seconds in which she would have been able to kill someone like Yone, but not enough probably to kill me and Nunu or Caitlyn in this context. So, if she casted on herself, she would have saved time, but we would have probably still won because of the odds that were given. Also, as you can see the continuation, Jin has the reload time, he can't do anything. The best ult you can do, the most advanced ults you can do at Talia, as Talia is to split a fight in such a manner that their front line is separated from the back line and you either kill the back line or the front line. So if you are around here and your team is here and their front line is here, let's say, you can ult like this 
and you get the back line and then you can move towards the front line or you can go like this and get the front line if they don't back off normally the front line will be cocky and think oh i can tank it and they will fight and so the rest of their team will be beautifully separated from them as you can see it exactly in this example they wanted the baron they couldn't reach look they afk basically here they did one auto attack and one kale ult and so we got the free win on a game that was certainly lost let me just show the ult again this is how the fight goes okay just leona dying here darius dying here morgana kiting well Vi only now joining the fight with an ult on caitlin and my team dealing with the part here we also know that Vi couldn't possibly get the kill here. And what the hell did I do in the meantime? Wait. Wait, how did I... Okay. I don't remember what I did. Probably had the Lona on my face. Okay, so. I tried... I positioned myself here to try to do a full Q onto the Vi. I mispositioned a bit. But I did well. I did generally well. Because they got here this side. My job was to actually peel for the Caitlyn. And then to move towards the rest. Arguably saving Caitlyn here and trying to move towards would be a better move because I said I tried to stay here to push to but she It was most likely that they wouldn't kill Caitlyn because she had flash she had Morgana uh, Stun she had Morgana shield and so as you can see we pushed and ended the game And they had no time to actually right they had like 20 seconds still and so we ended the game here and won the ranked game because of some good ults and some good positioning. Yone entered in the past three fights and we'd have certainly lost if it wasn't if it wasn't for this good ult. So again, in this kind of scenarios, this is just one of a hundred ideas that you could take. This is just me positioning somewhere for the better of it, right? I'm positioning here in hopes that I could get the Leona and Darius. I see the Leona and Darius, okay, I cast the ult, bam. Darius decides to come, we would have still killed the Leona here, she's dead, she's fairly dead, they, she didn't uh, want to back off because she couldn't and we stopped her here. The fight goes as it goes, we win as you can see and another ult that you could do is probably from here to here to stop the enemies into the pit but in this context if you stop them into the pit they would just uh, go around here and if you don't have some aoe uh, they could actually uh, buckle up and defend themselves and they could auto attack from if you cast the wall here and the tanks fight here they could actually auto attack from here but in this context we actually dragged them away we dragged their back line then the, away from their front line by that all and this is how you should actually cast the ult in general now if you did the ult like this it's probably one of the best contexts if in general you try to split you try to find these picks it's fine but if you don't if you cast just random ults you won't actually get away with Lia. and i've seen that this is a skill that it has to be learned over the course of 100 of 100 games or more you can't simply cast good ults because you could actually troll your team you could as a as a bard ult you could actually cast ult on some of your teammates and push them because if you cast it ult uh if you cast it ult and jump here that would be the first mistake if you cast it ult just a little bit right here they would actually have time to come and auto attack if you cast it right here maybe uh they would actually have space or time to move towards you so you have to find these angles these good angles and you have to cast it like that also the positioning look from where i cast it i also rode it i rode the wall from here to here and i jumped here not here so i positioned myself my team was here i positioned myself as such so i can try to split it always you try to find these 90 degree angles this weird angles which you can see it forms a 90 degree with these facades now if i would have cast it from here to here let's say like this or like this they would have had time probably man this might have worked too but they would have seen me here and i might have been stopped by a gene auto attack something else so i had to position safely here okay so you have to play around this logic you have to find these picks their front line will always grid their back line will probably go for barons and someone has to dps they will already stop barons so you have to think of that and so this is one of the most of the many alts you could do i really hope you learned something from it and i really hope to see some alts from you guys and to understand how each and every one of us how to play till you are better if you want to see for example some good alts examples i'm thinking katie you call from 2018 2017 2019 2016 games i'm not sure if he played that early but he plays Talia if i if i if i recall and crown him and crown he played some Talia games in the past where she was actually useful on mid uh 
and she he they did they did some pretty good ultimates in this area uh, if i recall correctly you can search for those games and you can check it in and in the besides that you can also check my alts in my games that i post in my full games so that that was about it for now uh, see you next time guys and for the next video i probably do want to leave a top guide uh, or to top montage and some more mid guides and leave uh, down in the comments uh, some ideas video ideas if you want a particular topic for Tilia or other champions and join our discord for Tilia discussion and some other stuff you can introduce yourself there you can tell us about Tilia we can all talk about Tilia or off topic uh, and other stuff so thanks for watching guys and see you next time I'm Jumat and I really hope you got something from this video goodbye guys